Okay, that's it. NFTs are dead. We're done. Pack it up. Let's close the shop. Done. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today with us, we have the one and only Da Vinci. How are you doing? Yeah, you know how I do. Five by five, all the time in Dubai. How are you doing, man? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. I just got back into the Dubai routine. You know, Singapore was incredible. So very happy we managed to go there. Lots of people we met, lots of fantastic side events and parties. It was great. So I'm looking forward to the million conference we'll have now in October and November here in Dubai. Great. That's what's happening in October and November. So make sure you, you come on out to Dubai and maybe we can uh, hang out, take some pictures and so forth. So that'd be cool. All right, so NFTs, all your NFTs in your NFT collection are zero, right? Is that, is that what we're hearing now? Yeah, exactly. So NFTs are totally worthless, says mainstream media, right? So there was, a, there was an article pushed out from the Rolling Stones and they have declared that non-fungible tokens, NFTs, are finally totally worthless. They basically uh, looked into a Dab Gamble study and of course they revealed that most of the NFTs are worth nothing. So a study conducted, analyzed 73,257 collections and they found that 69,795, so basically most of them, have gone to zero. There is a major difference in between saying the technology is dead as opposed to a random cactus collection on Solana is worthless, right? <laughs> you know, that cactus collection could come back. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> They were some of the ones pushing on the front cover of their newspaper back in the days, a board ape. So convenient. When things are up, they sell in, they're pushing them. And when things are down, they're pushing them down. So that goes to show you that the Rolling Stone magazine is a magazine you watch so you can do the opposite. So I guess it must be a buy time for uh, NFTs. It says here, meanwhile, another community member believes that when mainstream media shares this type of post, a reversal is bound to happen. Exactly like you said. So when your taxi driver is asking about which NFTs should they buy, then you sell, right? As a reply to that, I don't know if you've seen, but Pudgy Penguins have launched a toy line in 2000 Walmart store and their volume trading surged by 530%. By the way, this collection was sold for 2.5 million last year in April. And this new CEO didn't waste any time and he started to, you know, expand his physical and digital mix together. And he partnered up with 2000 Walmart and they are selling like hotcakes, apparently. So each pudgy toy will have a unique bird certificate that will enable owners to claim exclusive trades for their digital forever pudgy. By scanning a QR code, user can unlock those traits in an online virtual world built on ZK Sync era blockchain. The heck is Walmart doing? Well, uh, NFTs are dead. <laughs> <laughs> the Bitcoin obituary say it's just filled with like news articles how how Bitcoin's dead. Oh, you can see how many times it's been declared dead, right? In the past six months, the last time it was um, declared dead was. 22nd of April, 2023, crypto is dead in America. Meanwhile, you know, our friend PayPal is reinforces their Web3 ambition with NFT marketplace patent. I'm confused. I thought we just said NFTs are dead and they're going to quit put together a marketplace for NFTs, PayPal. Man, these guys, they don't listen <laughs> to the voice. <laughs> <laughs> so PayPal, as you know, they launch a stable coin, PayYUSD. And now they filed a patent to facilitate NFT purchases and transfers through an intriguing royalty-friendly marketplace. The patent filed six months ago in March, precisely, only published last week in September 21st, states the PayPal NFT marketplace will feature a unique me method for executing NFT transactions both on and off-chain. Additionally, those assets will represent a wider variety of digital data. Wow, so they're going into... Digital images, music, video, art, collectibles, event ticket, legal documents, and physical rewards, among others. I think PayPal sees the writing on the wall with crypto, and they're going all in. I mean, they're, they, they're no, they know what happened to the music industry. They know what happened to the, the news industry. They don't want to be uh, the, the next industry to fall like the banking industry. The banking industry is going down. They know it. 
they see the, the writing on the wall. I'm, I think banks finally see the writing on the wall and they will fight to the end fact they'll, they'll have, well, because banks are so big, there, there's going to be like a lot of like left hand doesn't know what the right hand's doing. And they just like confuse. Okay. Well, this one's banning it. This one's like using it. And this one's like, you'll see a lot of that in, in large corporations because you know, they're just too big. And so, um, yeah, that's what's going on. That's what's going to happen for a while. I mean, we're going to see partly a lot of the banks joining crypto because if you can't beat them. You have to join them. And check this out. You know, they are not the only building on the blockchain. So apparently Sony and Xbox are looking. So Microsoft and Sony are looking also into the blockchain. As you know, Microsoft have been trying to acquire Blizzard, Activision Blizzard for 69 billion. There was a leak and the leak shown that basically Microsoft is trying to, or they want to integrate in their Xbox, a crypto wallet. At the same time, Sony is looking to a NFT kind of platform asset cross gaming thing. So in here it says Sony filed a digital asset patent and Microsoft documents him to a crypto wallet integration. So there are 228 million players. They are going to be about to onboard into crypto, right? Coin Daily says, um, Sony has a big plans for NFTs and their PlayStation 5. 112 million plus PlayStation users soon will get in-game items on the blockchain. Mish. I like that. Uh, I mean, it's, it's clear that um, Rolling Stones should have called up Microsoft, should have called up PlayStation, should have called Walmart and said, hey, we're, we're writing an article here. Don't make us look like fools. <laughs> 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 I have to like, you know, bash Rolling Stones because, you know, it's it's a dumb thing to do, right? Um to at the bottom of the market to to come out and do that. But anyways, yeah, I mean, uh, Xbox, PlayStation, yeah, it's a natural evolution. You can't stop NFTs, you can't stop crypto. It's here to stay. Do you remember when people were saying the internet is going nowhere and is useless? There you go. Yes. So those are the same people, right? Speaking of crazy stuff, so Shaquille O'Neal has been in trouble, apparently with the law, because he was helping representing a astral NFT collection it's built on Solana and offering 10,000 unique 3D avatars. The project is community driven and promises play to earn, again, talking about games. Conclusion, Shaquille O'Neal legal troubles regarding his involvement with Solana based NFT project Astrals continue to unfold. The lawsuit alleged violation of security laws and highlights the substantial personal connection. Someone is promoting a project and now they, I mean, nobody has talked about what the project has done. So nobody has ragged anything. So I don't understand where this is coming from. Me neither. I, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, so what if a celebrity gets involved with a specific project? I mean, you're an idiot if you think that that means something and you buy it. Um, I mean, I don't see what the uh, the problem is here, honestly, I, I'm, I'm confused, right? The project is still, they didn't say that the project has died, that, um, you know, th that the, they have been rug pulled because, you know, they're not doing anything. Uh, it, they're just saying that Sh Shaquille O'Neal is not doing anything. So what? I mean, it might not be his project. He might be just like, oh yeah, I like that. So I'm going to, I'm going to be invested in that basically saying that since he's famous he can't endorse anything otherwise it will be partaking of i mean isn't that how marketing works like they go to celebrities to say can you talk about my project whatever it might be it could be clothing could be energy drinks could be chocolate could be anything like a bottle of whiskey you know could be fashion that's how it works you know since you are a famous or you are an influencer you talk about projects and people buy them <laughs> i mean or, or people at all to promote anything it's the same thing where if, if I'm famous with one person, right? Not many, it's the same stuff, right? I'm telling that one person to buy and they, I'm influencing that one person. So does that mean I'm a criminal? It's just because it's just the numbers are different. That's just weird. Makes no sense at all. But anyway, Da Vinci, as always, thank you so much for your time, guys. Remember this happens every Monday. So push that like button and subscribe to the channel because we will be back next week. Yeah, all right. Cheers, people. <laughs> Bye.